So what does Imam Hussein TV mean to me? Um, it's a hard one. I, I'll be totally honest with you, Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein TV is in my life. It's been part of my journey to develop myself, to improve my learning and understanding of many subjects that I never knew before. And also, as a parent, uh, it has helped me bring up my kids, bring them up in a, in a way where uh, they can, in the future, become servants of the Holy Prophet. Imam Hussein TV is a reminder of religion and Imam Hussein and how I should be a better person even though it doesn't come naturally. They really help me connect with Allah. They really help me connect with my religion, understand religion. Shows like Ahkam Masuis, as I'm helping film, help set up. It just inspired me to learn about Islam, to encourage me to follow my deen and to spread it. I go to university, I spread that message throughout there. I try and share that message that I learned here. The biggest blessing of my life um, was being able to serve and work at the same time. So Imam Hussein TV to me, this is like a home away from home. Uh, over here when I come in, even though everyone has their own opinion of Imam Hussein TV, as a staff member, it's different. And for, for me, it's, um, you know, it's like a sense of family. Um, it's hard work, struggles. But at the same time, there's a lot of creativity, there's passion. And when I received that one email from that one viewer saying, thank you, Imam Hussein TV, for providing me with live feed from Karbala, um, thank you for giving me Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam in my home. That's 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 what that's what makes my job so precious to me. There's a movement and a campaign for us to provide uh, a better service for those people in the West to have the message of the Ahlul Bayt uh, in English and also to bring Imam Hussein uh, to the masses and to the world. I have to ask myself every day, every month, Murtada, what are you going to do? What are you going to show on the channel in the following months to benefit the views of Imam Hussein alayhi salam? Myself, I may be in the UK, I may have um, 20, 30 odd Husseiniyat Masajid to go to and learn during these occasions. But working at the channel, you need to think of those viewers who, 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 do, not, who do not have any Husseiniyat, who do not have any books in their city or in their country. It should be a duty upon every Shi'i person in this world to, to give back to Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. As lovers of the Ahlul Bayt, we all have an inclination to the epitome of love. When we rejoice, when times are hard, whatever stage of life we are in, we all yearn to be in one special place. We all wish to visit the blessed shrine of Imam al Hussein in the holy city of Karbala. Not all of us have the blessing to visit the shrine of Imam Hussein. But there is still a way to experience the sights and sound of the blessed land of Karbala in the comfort of your own homes. We call upon you, dear viewers, to support us in our financial costs to help bring the Holy Land of Karbala beaming into your homes. You can support us with a monthly donation of just 50 US dollars or 30 pounds. We are your gateway to Karbala. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Imam Hussein TV3. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another installment of the Shia Voice. 
The first group of auditions are still underway. The judges once again sit in front of new contestants battling it out for the last few spaces in the semi-finals. As the competition moves forward, it gets even more intense for contestants as it's the third day of auditions. The standard has been set and it is high. As the crew is setting up and the audience are in place, they await for the judges to take their seats and a new set of contestants prepare themselves to face the panel. Congratulations, you've made it through to the next round of auditions. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV, welcome to the Shia Voice. My name is Ali Fadl. I am your host for today's episode and the whole series, uh, inshallah. Thank you very much, Mullah. My name is Ali Hakim. That's right. We're already halfway through the first stage of the competition. Every day, many participants battling it out, using their talent to earn the top five spots in this competition to move on to the next stage. Inshallah. And of course, these participants are going to be standing in front of world-renowned experts. We're also, ladies and gentlemen, delighted to be um, announcing today that we have a special guest in the, in the crowd. Um, so I'm going to turn to my left. Hi, in the stands um, is the delightful and often smiley Sheikh um, Mohammed Hilli. Salaamu Alaikum, Sheikh. Wa Alaikum, Salaam. How are you doing this evening? Alhamdulillah, how are you? So what brings you here tonight? It's uh, very exciting. I'm looking forward to uh, being a guest at the Shia Voice. I'm really excited to see the talent that the Shia community produces and I pray for their success, inshallah. So let's go. Honored to meet the judges. I know them all. Mashallah, Allah bless you and the wonderful crowd. Really excited to uh, see the wonderful Fantastic. talent the Shia Fantastic. community has. Fantastic. And I pray for them all. Inshallah. Remember, each and every one of them in the eyes of Allah is a winner. Is 100%. a winner. Ahsantum. Ahsantum, Shaykh. Barakallah bikum. And um, gentlemen, dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV, I am going to be delighted to welcome our first guest, our first participant on the Shia Voice. I'm alone, I'm in pain, I want to uh, My name is Abbas Hussein, um, I am from Amisham. Inshallah, I'm going to be reciting some Quran um, and look forward to, to doing that. Abbas, you're gonna go on stage, how do you feel? A little bit nervous of starting the show, inshallah, so yeah. Be confident, you've got it. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Uh, your name is? Abbas. Abbas, and how old are you? I am 23. 23, 
And what exactly will you be reciting today? Uh, we'll be reciting from the Quran, from Surah An Nur, inshallah. Quite nervous because obviously it was the, f the first uh, opening, opening act. Um, and um, there's a lot of bright light and uh, just a big counter in your face. So, so that's how I felt, quite nervous, yeah. <laughs> Allah Nur Samawat Wal Ard Mathal Nur Mathal Nur Kamishkat Fiha Misbah المصباح في زجاجة الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد من شجرة that's a very good start, I think. Nice, solid start. start مثل نوره كمشكاة فيها مصباح المصباح في زجاجة زجاجة كأنها كوكب الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد using his different styles in the recitation دري يوقد من شجرة مباركة 
زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسس نار نور على نور يهدي الله لنور من يشاء ويضرب الله ويضرب الله فال للناس والله بكل شيء عليم صدق الله العلي العظيم الله وازي I think one, one worry or fear, I suppose, is not, not so much a fear, but then um, thinking about um, the, the name of this competition, the Shia voice, uh, in terms of how a lot of other acts will be there aside from Quran. And as somebody that's only really participated in a Quran competition, I thought, you know, this is <clears throat> maybe a little bit different. But um, no, alhamdulillah, it was, it, was, uh, it was really good, really good to take part. First of all, I appreciate your recitation, uh, especially the enrichment of your maqamat. You know how many melodies you recited yet, Abbas? Three. 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 Yes. Actually, four. four. Bayati, Rast, Nahawant, and then again you finish with um, Bayati at the end. So it was a little bit changing with the beginning at Bayati at the end. Um, I was waiting for your jawab, jawab of Rast, but Alhamdulillah you actually recover it in the Jawab Jawab of Nahawant. I enjoyed that one because I was waiting for that one. I was just thirsty of that part. Um, overall, good recitation. The starting part was very good because you started with a proper pitch, but it's still because of the stage or maybe because of the environment, so you didn't go high in, in rust. That's overall, very good recitation, work on the Maharaj al Huruf as well, but I appreciate your Nahawant. Thank you very much, Abbas. Thank, thank, you, so thank, you. thank, thank you. you so much for that. Sayyid Mace, I'm going to go to you um, if that's okay. Yeah, so of course I can't give you the type of detailed uh, explanation uh, Sayyid Jalali did. However, my uh, take on it was how I felt. I felt your uh, recitation was very powerful, very controlled, um, although at some times it felt that. Um, it required a, a little bit of effort on the breathing. Um, still, I'm going to steal his line and say I was flying. Asanto, Asanto said, Mason. Doctor said, Ammar, please, your input. Not the easiest verse in the world. And that I'm very proud of you for. Choosing a verse um, which some will find difficult to pronounce. Um, it's one of the most interesting verses as well in the Holy Quran. Um, aside from the fact that you've chosen this wonderful verse, I saw that you've memorized it. I've seen many Quran reciters who have to look in the Holy Book, which of course is a blessing, but for you to have memorized and not really needed your phone, nor did you need to resort to the Quran that's in front of you, I thought was fantastic. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed listening to you and um, you could go a very long way. Well done. Thank you, Sayyid. Well, I was going to say Mullah, but uh, there, there needs to be something before. I can't just call you Nizar. Wallah Nizar. Haj Nizar, Fadal. Sir, Abbas Hussein. Very good recitation. How you started was very nice. Mm -hmm. And I was expecting that you will uh, step by step go high, yep. yeah, but you didn't show any high. You didn't show us any high. Just just one place, you went, yeah, yeah, just one place. And it was not very high. It was just normal, yeah? Lot of places your voice uh, was wavering. In general, not bravo, yeah. sir, 
and inshallah we see you ah, again. Thank you so much. Hajj Nazar. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, our, our delightful Sheikh as well, please. Sheikhna. Uh, fantastic narration from Imam Sadiq that says, Man qara al Quran wa huwa shabun mu'min ikhtalat al Quran wa bilahmihi wa damih. Anyone who recites the Quran and are a young believer, a young man or woman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will infuse and mix the Quran with their own flesh and in their blood. So amazing recitation, very well done. This ayah, ayah number 35 of Surah An Nur is known as, of course, the ayah to Nur, the light, the light verse. But the next verse is tremendous because it talks about where this light is found. And in authentic narrations, this light is found predominantly in the household of the commander of the faithful and the lady of light, Amir al-Mu'mineen and Sayyidatul Nisa, salawatullahi wa salamu alayhim. So this is the month of the Quran. Every single one of you, inshallah, can be inspired and ensure that the Quran mixes with your own flesh in this holy month and beyond. Inshallah. Many thanks um, to Sheikh Muhammad, who's quite happy with himself with that bit of feedback. I love that. That's perfect. Um, how do you think everything went to your expectations, inshallah? Alhamdulillah. Could have been better, but alhamdulillah. Inshallah. Please. Put your hands together for Mr. Abbas Hussain. Thank you so much. How did you think it went? How did it go? I, I don't know, man. It was, alhamdulillah, it was good to start, but um, yeah, it was quite a, lot, quite a lot of nerves. You know about when uh, Mullah Nazar was saying about the waving of the voice? Do you feel like that was maybe because of nerves? Yeah, mainly, mainly, yeah. I think so. A lot of people, they say when they recite, it's quite comfortable at home, but when they come on stage, there's cosplayers. Do you feel like these things that you can easily improve on, on, on what say Jalan was saying? Definitely, yeah, definitely. You you've done enough to get past the next stage? I'm not sure, to be honest. So many thanks to Abbas Hussain for kickstarting today's episode of the Shia Voice. We are going to be welcoming now the next contestant, inshallah, to face the judges on the Shia Voice. My name is Irfan Nanji and I am coming from Birmingham. I uh, come to portray my love for the Ahlul Bayt, inshallah. So what are you going to be reciting tonight for the judges? Inshallah, a small qasida in honor of Imam Ali. Our second contestant of the night is the humble 20-year-old Irfan. Irfan, from Kenya to Birmingham, now to the Shia Voice. Are you ready? Yes, yes, alhamdulillah. Show them what you've got. Definitely, inshallah. Good luck, Habibi. Thank you so much. This is only a dream. Please promise me that I'll see you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. That was one of the best replies we've had so far. Uh, your name? Irfan Nanji. Irfan, how old are you? I am 20 years old. And you're going to be reciting for us tonight. A qasida in honor of Imam Ali, alayhi salam, inshallah. A qasida. Okay, yes. so something quite joyous. Yes. Fantastic. When did you first begin reciting? Um, with the support of my parents when I was six years old, inshallah. I started reciting at that time. My biggest inspiration is my mother and my father, um, who've nurtured me since I was young, inshallah, to be a servant of the Ahlul Bayt. Um, inshallah, the chorus is very easy. Haydar, 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 Haydar. So I'll ask the judges to recite along, the audience to recite along, inshallah. Um, when you want to clap, Bismillah. Very good. Uh, He's do, introducing inshallah. himself. He's getting people, you know, getting them engaged. Very good. Bowl in a man, man, I 
I think the Shia Voice is an amazing initiative um, to encourage youth um, around the whole world uh, to be proud Shias, um, proud people when they come to calling out the names of the Ahlul Bayt and the names of the Prophet and it's such an amazing honor to be here and part of this competition. Ahsant, Mr. Smiley, I love it. How'd you feel? Alhamdulillah, amazing. Good, 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 good. Good energy, good energy, good energy. I never came with the intention of winning. So for me, just being here to take part, um, you know, meet other people, meet the judges um, and other amazing participants is an honor enough. Um, Sayyid Maysam, you had something to say? Yeah, um, mashallah, you recited so well. I was happy to see your smiley face and, you know, you kept the emotion in the manqabat. Um, do you know who this is recited by, right? The original? Uh, no, I'm not sure, no. Do you know Mira San Mira the ah, Renano? Yes, yes, yes. Um, the, the only issue that I'm having is because I know the original one, I know the original uh, tune to it. Mm -hmm. So, Shere Khuda Dama De Payambar Haydar 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 MashaAllah, Sayyid Maysam. There's a couple of things I wanted to point out. Very briefly, I'll go through it. Um, can you do the same thing in tempo? Because w the tempo that the audience is, you want the audience to recite Heather, Heather, that was pretty good. But if you want to continue that in the first stanza, you slow the, the whole tempo down, and that kind of kills the, the ambience, right? Okay. One. Two. Um, some of the notes you weren't hitting properly. Um, I think for that, you, I would recommend a good vocal coach. Maybe even talk to Emma Draza himself and he'll take you under his wing. Of course, this is Sayyid Mason, the expert in this field, giving his critical feedback for the brother to improve his recitation. I'm just trying Mason, to... How, how was his recitation? No, his recitation was amazing. Okay. It, was, it was great. Come I on. love the jazz, but he got the audience involved. Good, good, uh, good. But because, like I said, because I know the original one, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. it's... it's and it's unfair to you because it, it's, you know, to expect you to be reciting at Meet Hassan's level. But I want this platform to be something where you can take tips from, not yeah, just yeah, negative, yeah. Uh, you know, opinions. So. Um, something I would focus on is some of the greats that have done Noha Khani, Manqabat Khani. What they do is the words, when you're saying Haider, yeah. you know, Haider, lion. So I want you to roar like a lion when you're reciting. And so you're uh, smiling, right? You're being a little bit kind with Heather. Heather needs to be, you know, you need to show it. Um, I don't want to say a little more, more than that, but I'm going to, if you can allow, say, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to call him now either. Yeah, me neither. Hajj Nazar, anything to add? Assalamu alaikum, brother Irfan. Do you like the good news? or the bad news. I mean, the, we don't have anything bad. I mean, bad the, the positive or the negative. Everything is good, constructive. Subhanallah. Beautiful, beautiful. Subhanallah. Look, I, you, that's, the, I, I, that's the spirit, mashallah. <laughs> your character is very beautiful. Yeah, smiling. And um, so far, I can say, it looks like you don't uh, care if you uh, go to the next round or you don't because you are serving. As I can read in your biography, it's saying he has devoted his life to serving the Ahlul Bayt. So put that in your mind. Put that in your mind, yeah? Okay, Brother Irfan. Uh, <laughs> it's written here originally from Kenya, yeah? Your tune was African, not Urdu. This is my provision. I know, I know what I'm saying. The, uh, it, it, your, your tune was for South Sudan, Kenya, Somal. The paragraph, each paragraph, you were reciting exactly the same. same. Yeah. Exactly same. Yeah. Tem same template. For me, okay, I know a bit Urdu. Yeah, for who doesn't know Urdu, he, it, it's the it's, uh, same. You are repeating same. But still, I tell you, you have very beautiful character. 
والله I'm not joking. Yeah. You are ve- you have very beautiful character, and you want to be uh, at service of Ahl al-Bayt. You can continue. We are here. Inshallah. Learn from uh, f- from uh, this advice and mashallah. Ahsantum, ahsantum, Haj Nazar. Sayyid Jalal, I will go to you, and then inshallah we'll finish with Sayyid Allah. Irfan, uh, okay, overall your recitation was good, but you know, sometimes it was fast, sometimes it's slow, so it doesn't, it didn't have a proper, actually, uh, structure. So inshallah you work on this, and overall, as they mentioned, your, your smile is perfect. Ahsan Thank you very much. Ahsan Thank you. Ahsan. We'll end with you, inshallah, Sayyid Ammar. Irfan, what's your local uh, center? Uh, Jaffrey Islamic Center, Nairobi. That's your local at the moment. So no, you've come the all moment. the way from Nairobi. Um, so I'm studying in Birmingham. So You're studying in yes, Birmingham. Well, us. firstly, Birmingham are very lucky to have someone like you. That there is no doubt about. Because for a Khaja to make a Qasida have that much, you know, happiness and smiles behind it is something the community needs a lot. Because sometimes you could go to some parts of the Khaja world where you don't know if it's a Wilada or a Wafat. Yeah. And you are very much needed. Because the moment you hold a mic, you're electric. Your smile's electric, your passion's electric, and your attitude will go a long way. But I think what the man to my right said to you is of the utmost importance. It's all about being mentored. A person who recognizes that there are experts out there who he can train under, they'll go a long way because it's all about attitude. You've got the right attitude. You can go a long way. Get somebody to be your coach. And believe you and me, Karachi, you'll be looking after it very well. Well done, well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Irfan Nanji. Thank you. I'm alone, I'm alone, I want to How did it go? How did you feel it Amazing. Alhamdulillah. All I can say is Alhamdulillah. Obviously, yeah. sometimes being on the stage is a bit overwhelming, mashallah. You did very well, your performance. What do you think about the um, comments regarding um, your style of recitation, it's like it's almost like a Sudan recitation, African recitation from from Nazar. What do you think about that? I mean, that's where my roots are, so uh, definitely. But there's always room to improve. Um, and he's, as he said, like I say, the Mar said, you know, the most important thing to focus on is, inshallah, where I'm going now. Alaikum, brother. Your name and where you're coming from? Alaikum salam. Sayyid Ali Askar, coming from Watford. Alhamdulillah, um, I've been given the opportunity to participate in today's uh, Shia Voice. Um, inshallah, uh, I am a contestant today, so I pray that I do well. Um, I'm quite nervous. I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's the chilli, um, but alhamdulillah, um, can't wait. Really excited. Please promise me. Sayyid, you're going to go on stage. Are you pumped? Are you ready? Alhamdulillah, you're ready, man. Any thoughts, any feelings? Just a bit nervous, but inshallah, it all goes well. That's the main thing. Utilize it, energize it. You've got this. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Your name? Sayyid Ali Askar Shah. How old are you? 29. Where do you reside? Uh, I was born and bred in Watford, but uh, I reside in Peterborough now. Congratulations. You've won the 10,000 pounds. What are you going to do with it? Utilize it and um, inshallah, share this platform to also take advantage of breaking the stigma of mental health and helping out the community. We've been stuck in this pandemic. There's a lot of brothers, sisters out there that are suffering. And inshallah, with the money, inshallah, with the money, without the money, inshallah, the main objective is helping uh, each other as wonderful. a community. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> Ali Asghar, what are you reciting tonight? Um, reciting a Noah. Sorry to take you guys from happiness to a bit of sorrow. You've just summarized Shiaism in one sentence. Okay. Wonderful, go ahead. My mother taught me reciting at a very, uh, very young age, uh, probably around the age of six, seven. But I start taking a bit more um, focus and concentration on reciting alone um, in the last two years. Hey, Baba. Teri zahra.
Are you thirsty? No, I'm okay. Come. Salawat by Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Mullah Nazar giving his support with constructive feedback to help Brother Ali Asghar along. Okay, and look, it's dark, <coughs> and behind you is member. This is member, real member, yeah? Imagine, and start again. <coughs> I don't like that at all. When the judges stopped me, um, I cannot lie to you, it was one of the worst situations of my life. I just, I was on, 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 a, on a stage, on a platform. I, I wasn't sure uh, what the, um, you know, agenda was behind stopping me. Did they want me to actually change and feel another noha, see if I can adapt to it? Can I ask you to recite something else? Um, I just want you to be, you know, shown in your best light here. So if you have something else, maybe we can judge you better. Is that okay? As in noha or kasida? Anything you'd like. Something you, that you have a grip on, a better grip on. Something you. If, if, if you have something with rhythm. Yeah, maybe with so tempo. So we can we can we can uh, do sinazani, no problem. When I saw a little smile on uh, Doctor Said Amara, got that confidence back, and Alhamdulillah, um, I adapted really well, and Inshallah, I pray that in at that very moment, the Ahlul Bayt al Islam got me out of that darkness. Zahra jaya daya sera gazi Hoya karbal, hoya karbal Hoya karbal, de vich juda gazi Zahra jaya daya sera gazi Zahra jaya daya sera gazi Aj vi bin te Hussain rondi e 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 Hak mere ke Sant, Sant, Ah, Sant, Ah, Sant, Salah, Allah, Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's the whole point of the show. Ah, Sant, come forward, come forward, come forward. The judges have a lot to say, um, <laughs> and I'm gonna go to say, say, uh, Dr. Said Ammar first and foremost. Please. Well, I don't know why you've come to me first, uh, but because <laughs> the experts are all oh, here, sorry. but I'll, I'll just go ahead and say, I loved your adaptability. The pressure Great. really was coming from the floor. Thank you, Sayed. These two were twitching nonstop. I could see that they were like crocodiles coming in, um, especially <laughs> this one to my left. He was, he kept on looking at me, and that's when I know that you're in trouble. But, I th but when he said to you, you know, get some water, and then when they said to you, change the noha, and you did, and you continued, and what amazed me as well was your sincerity. You were really sincere. You weren't someone who was put off and said, what's all this? Why are you doing this? No, on the contrary, you were like, okay, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. And you did it, and you recited one that you had memorized. Thank you. And you've done really well, and I'm really proud of you. Very well done. Well Accent. done. Well Accent. done. Mullah Nazar. Haj Nazar, Brother Nazar. Barakallah feek, Sir Ali Asghar Shah. Have you been in a struggle between your mind and your heart? As in now? Or? Interesting question. No, no, have you been? I mean, you know, you, 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 I will explain it to you. You know, your heart, heart usually follows emotions. Yeah? But mind follows logic. Which one do you believe in? I follow my heart, but um, I think coming, I actually suffered a lot of mental health. And it, it, I, I try to reach out to people and... Um... May Allah reward the Sayyid. May Allah reward him. Okay. And, you, you, know. you, you made it very easy. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. You know, in first Noha, I was thinking that there is no technique in your voice. Sorry to say that, yeah? No, okay. I was thinking like that. That was my mind saying. But my heart was saying that there is something spiritual in him, yeah. in, yeah. His, in his voice. Very genuine, So that's why 
I gave you water. I tried to change. I tried to change. I was feeling that there is something spiritual in your voice. Thank you. And alhamdulillah, we discovered it. Thank you okay? so much. Uh, by the way, I gave you Mark, but I'm going to change it. Uh -huh. Thank Thank you so, much. so do you want me to follow my heart or my mind? <laughs> your heart, your heart, please. <laughs> heart. Your heart. Bravo. Said Maytham, please. Mashallah, you did a fantastic job. Uh, just remember one thing. There's only going to be one judgment, and that's not going to be here. That's on Rosa Mahesha, right? We're just here to guide you. I wouldn't call this judgment for me. Um, guidance is a better term, I would like. Uh, mashallah, I think uh, everything's been said before. Mashallah. Thank you so much. Fantastic. The experience was the most important thing for me, and I will go back and utilize on the feedback, and inshallah, try to get better day by day. Inshallah, if I get through, alhamdulillah, if I don't, I would like to thank Imam Hussein TV and all the community for giving me the opportunity to take part in the Shia voice. Sayyid Jalal, please, lastly. Uh, Sayyid Ali Asghar, um, beautiful recitation. I started with the uh, positive points. The way you stand, it's perfect for the recitation because your, ch that your chest is forward, so you can recite from your chest. That's perfect position. And the breathing system you did at the beginning was good because you take a deep breath. But when you want to take breath, try to take breath through your nose, not through your mouth. Okay. The dryness you had at the beginning of your recitation mm. is because you're taking breath through your mouth. mouth. You have a strong voice. Thank you very much. Thank I wish you. all the best Thank for you. you. Said, Jalal, we're going to go very, very, very quickly to Sheikh Muhammad Hali. Sayyid Ali Azhar, just one hadith for you to remember. I want you to take this with you. Feel inspired. Everyone to feel inspired. Imam al Sadiq says, Man anshada fina sha'aran falahu baytun fil jannah. Anyone who recites one line of poetry for us, Allah grants them a palace in paradise so you've done amazing keep up the hard work may allah bless you and bless all the mu'minin mu'minat let's recite a very loud powerful wilaya salawat for sayyid ali asghar sayyid ali asghar recovered with a passionate recitation and adapted beautifully to impress the judges well done well done. how do you feel man emotional man i was a uh, was i could tell you they put me on the spot, but alhamdulillah, I had to adapt. Up next, we have one of the youngest contestants, seven-year-old Maysam from Birmingham. He will be reciting a noha tonight. You ready? You're going to recite? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you going to be brave? Yeah. You're going to make the head and big proud, inshallah? Yes. Nice, strong recitation voice. Good luck. The courage of this contestant at only seven years old to take the stage is inspiring. Assalamu alaikum, young man. How are you? I'm fine. You want to bring that microphone a little closer to your mouth? Yeah. Well done, well done. Your name? Misam Raza. Misam Raza. And how old are you? I'm seven. MashaAllah. What were you thinking on the walk to the stage? You ready to recite? Were you nervous? What was going through your mind? I was ready to recite. You are ready to recite. Yeah. You are ready to take on the audience. <laughs> Young man, well done. My heart. Oh, I love you, too. you are as brave as the man you're named after. And I hope your voice comes somewhat close to his. So you, when was the first ever time you began reciting? Since I was four, I started to recite. Since the age of four? Yep. MashaAllah. And tonight, what are you reciting for us? A noha. A noha. And who's the noha about? It's about... It's, Bibi, it's about Bibi Zainab. About Bibi Zainab. MashaAllah. Mom and Dad are here? Yep. Mom and Dad want to give us a wave? Well, there you go. Mom straight away waved. Even before I asked for the wave. And that... that Dad got the right position there. Brilliant. Okay, make mom and dad proud. Make all of us proud. Go ahead, young. What did you recite? I recite Idan Which noah did you recite? Give Why did you recite that noah? Because it was my, it's my favorite. Give
Can I have a hug? Thanks for the hug. Thank you so much. That was so amazing. You okay? Yeah. yeah? Good boy. Good boy, mashallah. Brilliant. Well, I think it was really good. So look, you've made Mullah Nazar cry with your recitation. Yeah? Mullah Nazar, please, can we get your thoughts? Let me last one. Sure. Yeah. Say Jalal, please. Or actually say Mesam, whichever one, please do, yeah. Mesam, your name, it's, it's hard for me not to be biased today. Um, this is only the love of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam that, you know, you have such little children reciting for them. I'm sure, maybe if not in this stage, if you were reciting in a jalous, I'm sure crowds would stop to listen to you, mashallah. You know, they want to see what, what's making a little kid uh, mourn something that happened 1400 years ago. MashaAllah, may Allah give you, you know, you're only seven. When I started, you beat me by a year. My first album was when I was eight years old. So you do the math now, it was a 99, 98, I think it's 23 years now. I hope one day, inshallah, you know, Mawla, you have so many blessings. May Allah Inshallah. give you so many uh, izzat Inshallah. that you are here in, in my place, inshallah, one day. Ahsant. Ahsant. I want to just... Sayyid Jalal. Maysam, mashallah, beautiful recitation. You know, when you were reciting at the beginning, your qarar, you're the first stage, I thought it's not your voice. It is a strong, really strong voice you have. It is more than your age, the, the voice. I really enjoyed it. Thank lovely, you. Thank lovely. you. That was lovely. Thank you, Sayyid. Dr. Sayyid Ammar, please. Maytham, I'm ever so proud of you. Uh, we wanted to make sure that a show would allow for people in your age group as well to be represented. You are amazing. At your age, I used to have stage fright, believe it or not. Mm. Seven years old, there's no way I would have got up. Listen, 17, I wouldn't have got up. And for you to come here, and you've made daddy and mommy proud, I'm sure. You continue doing what you're doing. And mashallah, one day we'll recognize you for sure as a Shia voice. Well done. Inshallah, ahsantum, ahsantum. And uh, Haj Nazar, lastly. Oh, Maytham. When you started, I was thinking in Urdu. I was saying, Ye kya tarze bandigi hai. Ye kya tarze no kari hai. How... This, um, um, say it. Can you translate it? Yeah. What a unique way of serving, serving the Imam. Of serving. Which way of serving? How? How? I mean, what this Ahlul Bayt, what they did to us that a child like you coming and reciting for Sayyidah Zainab. I don't have any comment, but do you accept if I recite a bit about Sayyidah Zainab? زينب ما أدراك من زينب يا سؤال سلطانة الصمود في مملكة الدلال ليس لها مثيل إن قلت ما الدليل أقول من في بيتها يخدم جبرائيل ومن سواها صار عباس لها كفيل أحسن صلى على محمد وآل محمد Bravo. Do you, do you like what the judges said about you? Do you like what they said? No. Just a yes? You don't want anything to say back to them? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. Guys, please, a loud... I think a salawat is really, really befitting of, of, uh, of this young man's performance. Please, let me hear a loud salawat ala Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad. <laughs> Little Mason softened Mullah Nazar with his heartfelt noha. Well done, well done, mashallah. How do you feel? 
Good. Did you like it went as well as you could have? Yeah. Do you think about the judge you said? Were you happy with what they said? Yeah. And do you feel like you've done enough to get to the next stage, inshallah? Yeah. Okay. You did amazing. Good job. Thank you. So to you. So many thanks to the delightful young boy, Mason Kazmi, who captured the hearts of the judges and inshallah the viewers at home. So please help me welcome the next contestant on the Shia Boys. And my name is Muhammad Mahdi Ibrahimi and I'm from, coming from Bedfan. Inshallah, I'll be reading Dua Kumail. Inshallah. Now, you know Sayyid Jalal Masumi is one of our judges. How are you going to impress him? Uh, these past few nights, I've been reading Dua Kumail on Thursday nights. I've been practicing a lot, inshallah. I'll try to impress him. Okay, Muhammad, you're going to go on stage. How are you feeling? Uh, good, alhamdulillah. You nervous at all? Yeah, just a little nervous. It's normal, you're gonna be fine. Recite proudly, loudly, barakallah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Your name? Uh, my name is Muhammad Mahdi Ibrahimi. Muhammad Mahdi Ibrahimi. Muhammad, tell me about one of your hobbies. Quran. Quran, wonderful. Tonight you're reciting the Quran? Uh, tonight I'll be reading Dua Kumail. Dua Kumail? This is a nice move. Okay, go ahead with the recital of Dua Kumail, please. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma inni as'aluka bi rahmatika allati wasi'at kulla shay. وبقوتك التي قهرت بها كل شيء وخذ عليها كل شيء وذلنها كل شيء وبجبروتك التي غلبت بها كل شيء وبعزتك التي لا يقوم لها شيء وبعظمتك التي ملأت كل شيء وبسلطانك الذي على كل شيء وبوجهك الباقي بعد فناء كل شيء وبأسمائك التي ملأت أركان كل شيء If I got through today, uh, I would be really happy and excited to tell the rest of my family. اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تنزل النقام اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تغير النعام اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تحبس الدعاء اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تنزل البلاء اللهم اغفر لي كل ذنب اذنبت وكل خطيئة أخطأتها اللهم إني أتقرب إليك بذكرك وأستشفع بك إلى نفسك وأسألك بجودك أن تدنيني من قربك وأن توزعني شكرك وأن تلهمني ذكرك حبيبي سكت. محمد مهدي إبراهيم بارك الله محمد وآل محمد I think I'm going to go between Sayyid Jalal and Haj Nazar or Mullah Nazar. Mullah's first. Okay. Bismillah. Me first. Haj Nazar, please. Okay. Muhammad Mahdi, Barakallah Fiq. 
um, very quick, um, uh, you know, you are four, 14 years old, as we said in several uh, nights ago, uh, this age is very critical. So that's why your uh, voice is still not, uh, is still not mature. So it's still raw, yeah? But inshallah, within next year, inshallah two years, I don't know, then you will be, yani your, your, your voice will be um, more uh, powerful. Just I want, yeah. Uh, just one thing I want to say. Shuma Afghani Asti? Uh, the, the way you say Sallu ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad, I knew that. Okay, I was expecting to hear from, from you. Allahumma inni as'aluka bi rahmatika allati وسعت كل شيء. That's that's for that's the, I mean Farsi or Persian uh, hanjara throat. Yeah. If you are reciting for Arab people, Allahumma inni as'aluk bi rahmatik allati wasi'at kull shay wa bi quwwatik allati qahrta biha kull kull shay. Why? Because they are busy. They want go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Say Jalal, please. Uh, Muhammad Mehdi, uh, beautiful recitation overall. Um, first point I have to mention when we say, A'udhu billahi min ash shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. اللهم إني أسألك برحمتك التي وسعت كل شيء. دعاء. You showed the lowest position towards Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Yes. You show you are the lowest position. Mullah Nazar mentioned yes the. Afghans or Iranians, they recite like a slow, but of course, a slow, but I want with the Arabic pronunciation, not Persian pronunciation. Beautiful recitation, and I really appreciate your ihsas, your feeling. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Said. Now I'm going to go to Dr. Said Ammar, inshallah. I've seen you do better because you were at the uh, auditions at the Khoi school, and on that day, I thought you were brilliant. Uh, I'd love to see you smile more. Let's see that smile. Let's see the smile. Go on, go on. Let's see that smile. There you go. T -t -t -t. You see, I want to see character. Yeah, there we if go. you're going to be the Shia voice, you're going to have to be eccentric in some moments in your life. There's got to be character. There's got to be charisma. There's got to be a certain, you know, fervor about you. I want to see more. And I do believe that you can have more. I know it's a bit daunting here in front of everybody. But there is more in your closet, and I saw it at Al Khoi school on that day. Pronunciation wise, you're from Afghanistan, but so is he. And there should be absolutely no excuse as to why there are certain letters that you cannot pronounce. You should be able to. I've seen some of the best Quran reciters in the world who are originally Chinese. Go online, go on YouTube. There are a couple who are outstanding, and they're originally from China. Some are from Indonesia, mm -hmm. some are from Bangladesh. Work on that, you've got potential. You've got the rhythm there, they're all praising you, but I wanna see a bit more character. And if that character comes out, then inshallah, there's no stopping you. Good? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. And lastly, please, Sayyid Maytham. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little more forgiving. I thought you were wonderful. Um, to Mullah Nazar's point, it's maybe because you haven't recited in front of this many peoples on a stage like this that you were, you were a little overwhelmed, but mashallah, to me, it sounded amazing. Mashallah. Ah, Please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Muhammad Mehdi Ibrahimi. Uh, how did you think it went? Uh, I think I could have done better. Well, out of 10, how well did you do? Seven, eight. Okay, that's not too bad. Please don't tell me. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What's your name? Uh, Say what's your name? Mashallah, it's a fantastic name. I love your name. Please and where have you come from today? Um, Slough. Okay, okay, not too far. So, what brings you here tonight? What have you come here to do? To recite a monkey and show the judges what I can do. 
Sayyid Mohsin from Slough is only 11 years old. Mohsin, you're gonna go on stage, how are you feeling? Nervous. You're gonna be fine, are you excited? Yes, you are. Big smile. I hear Zahra and I know that you hear her Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah What's your name? Um, Sayyid Mohsin Basha Sayyid Mohsin Abbas Shah, how old are you? I am 11 years old MashaAllah, amazing And you've been reciting Noha for how many years? Honestly, I don't know anymore <laughs> For a really long time <laughs> Enjoying it? Yeah Yeah? And looking forward to maybe reciting one day in Karbala? Obviously. Because I don't think many people know that the winner of the Shia voice will recite in Karbala for 10 nights. If they're a speaker, if they're a Quran reciter, if they're a Dua reciter, or if they're reciting Latmiya or know how you will go to Karbala. Have you ever been to Karbala? Uh, no. No, would you like to go to Karbala? Yes. Amazing, I love that smile. Go ahead and recite for us, please. Well, I had two people that told me to do um, the Shia voice. That was my auntie and my other uncle as well. Um, so I was like, because I have a class as well, not a class. As soon as I came out of that class, they said, Mosin, you should do this. Um, and I signed up and now this is where I am right now. Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali. Duaay dega koi chikh chikh kar ek din. Khilaf din nahi hai Ali Ali kehna. Wo apne ma ki shikayat karega me shar me. To see My dear judges, who wants to go first? Say it, Maytham, please. MashaAllah, I'm so proud of you. Um, you know, it's such a, this composition is such a daunting task. It is. To th this particular mantabat, um, it has all the variations. It has high, it has low. Um, you're very young still. I hope um, that you find someone that can perfect your voice. You have a very nice tone. I like the huskiness in your voice, the breathiness, I like that. But sometimes that can, you know, make you run out of breath um, if you're using a lot of your breath. Try, try to sometimes use your chest voice, your throat, variate it. Mashallah, I'm very proud. I'm, I'm glad you started uh, this process. First of all, I did this. 
for the Ahlul Bayt and my, uh, my granddad. Because I've been starting uh, to recite since a very young age, I'm used to it. I'm like, I can do this for the Ahlul Bayt and I just express what I have. Um, as uh, Sayyid Maytham said, yeah, you are still young, yeah, you need, you are in the beginning of the road, yeah, keep all this in your mind, just practice, 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 with practice you will be much, much better, yeah, bravo, yeah. and the practice on majlis, yeah, not only at home, yeah, go to majlis, ask him, beg them, please, let me recite, yeah, recite in majlis, yeah. Honestly, if I couldn't make it, at least... In my head, I'll say, we tried to get there, but it didn't work out. But inshallah, I will go and succeed in my life. Yeah, I love the, co uh, the color coordination of the clothing. You know, it's pristine, by the way. You know, because really, you need to really have nice. that. Listen, if you're going to be, you're going to be a public figure, you want to always be looking quite swag. I'm not sure about the other three alongside me, but <laughs> but you've got that poise. I, I loved it. There was, there was a moment of control. And there's this, this uh, on the verge of a self-confidence when you were reciting. And that's what we want to look for as well. Yeah. There's somebody who's up there. And as soon as you saw us join you, you just started to flow even more. Absolutely. A bit of poise, a bit of swagger. Um, well done. Absolutely. It's very nice. Ahsan from Sayyid Nair, Sayyid Jalal, lastly. Uh, Sayyid Mohsen, um, beautiful recitation. I liked... When you started saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, start your work with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim as you did. I really appreciate that part. This nasheed is really difficult, mm -hmm. but you did, mashallah, good job. And for the love of Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib and for the encouragement of uh, Sayyid Muhsin Shah, I want you to do a nari haidan, inshallah. Nare It's going to be a long one. Subhanallah. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in thanking Sayyid Muhsin Abbas Shah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum jamia wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers of Mom Saint TV3, during this holy month of Shahr Ramadan, we look forward to your support in aiding us to raise donations so that we can continue to bring you the best of shows and documentaries. Your donation will go towards shows such as a Shia voice, which was premiered in the Shahr Ramadan start. And mashallah, what a way it was to express and present to the world exactly how talented the Shia world is with various world-renowned speakers and reciters as our judges, such as Dr. Sayyid Aman Ashwani, Sayyid Jalal Mahsoumi, Sayyid Misam Abbas and Nazar Al Qatari, we were honoured to have them all. They were all brought in to advise on recitations of the Holy Quran, eulogies, poetry and lectures. We have an enlightening lecture series with Dr. Sayyid Aman Ashwani, whose superb series is entitled Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, son of Mary, alayhi salam. The channel has the upcoming show called My Journey to the Grave, which will be presented by Al Haj Mustafa Masood. There is an exciting show called Welcome to Karbala, within which the viewers are honoured to see the mesmerising shrine of Uba Abdullah live. But we, as a channel, know that none of this could be done without you at home. So, therefore, we ask and humbly request that you support us. The channel is in dire need of backing. And that's why we humbly request all of you to donate generously. And alongside this, set up monthly standing orders of £30 or $50. This is the most effective way to support us as the channel. For more information, call us on 0203 515 or donate now by visiting www.imamhussein3.tv forward slash donate. Thank you. Imam Hussein TV, your gateway to Kabul. I'll come crawling, please accept me. I'm longing to see your holy shrine. Man, 
سوئے کر بلا جا رہا تھا میں سوئے کر بلا جا رہا تھا پڑھتا سلے الا چلتے چلتے میں سوئے کر بلا جا رہا تھا پڑھتا سلے الا چلتے چلتے پی رہا تھا پی رہا تھا پی رہا تھا مودت کے ساغر آ رہا تھا مزا چلتے چلتے اور بغض حیدر ہے سینے میں جس کے وہ طواف حرم کر رہا تھا بغض حیدر تھا سینے میں جس کے وہ طواف حرم کر رہا تھا آئی تقدیر چاہ کر میں ایسی آئی تقدیر چاہ کر میں ایسی سیدھا دو زخ گیا چلتے چلتے آئی تقدیر چاہ کر میں ایسی سیدھا دو زخ گیا چلتے چلتے درود بر محمد وال موسیقی Today, inshallah, I will be performing a lecture about how Imam Ali alayhi salam is a role model for all of humanity. Wonderful topic. Please go ahead. Uh, the first time I gave a lecture was maybe two years ago, two, three years ago. But the first time that I did something in honor of the Ahlul Bayt was, I think, at the age of six. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Walhamdulillah rabbil alameen bari khalq al-makhlukin bi'ilmih. ومصور أجساد العباد بقدرته ثم الصلاة والسلام على صاحب الوقار والسكينة المدفون بأرض مدينة الذي سمي بالسماء بأحمد وبالأرض باب القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المحصومين المظلومين وصحابته المنتجبين السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين وعلى أخيه أبي الفضل قمر العشيرة وعلى أخته الحوراء زينب العقيلة جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته It is no doubt that the character of Imam Ali عليه السلام is a character that is admired by all of, by all of humanity not just Muslims Imam Ali عليه السلام his character is the epitome of a true Muslim, an example of human perfection. But the question is, what makes Imam Ali's personality so perfect, so admirable? Now, due to the lack of time, I will only be able to mention uh, one topic, which is how Imam Ali السلام, treated everyone fairly. But before I get onto that, طيبوا أنفاسكم بالصلاة على محمد وآلي محمد. In a famous hadith by Imam Ali alayhi salam, he states, people are of two types, either your brother in faith or your equal in humanity. 
Hey, Imam Ali alayhi salam is, is personifying Islamic values. In the Quran, Surah Al-Hujarat, Surah Ayah number 13, he says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya ayyuha al-ladheena amanu, inna khalaqnaakum min dhakrin wa untha, wa ja'annaakum shu'uban wa qaba'il lita'arafu, wa ja'annaakum shu'uban wa qaba'il lita'arafu, inna, inna akramakum عند Allah yatakakum. Thank you. O oh, you who believe, we have created you in both male and female, and in nations and tribes, and indeed the best of you are those who are pious. Hey, Imam Ali alayhi salam is not someone who is favor one over another due to their nationality, their race, their religion. For instance, at the time of his Khilafah, as he was giving out the fake money, which is the money which the Muslims earned after battling the non-Muslims. One lady, one Arab lady, noticed that a Persian lady received the same amount of money. So she took it away from her and went to Imam Ali. She said, Ya Ali, Ya Amir al muminin Ya Khalifa, how could you give me, an Arab lady, the same amount of money as a Persian lady who was owned by someone? This is not fair. So Imam Ali responded with a very beautiful and very beautiful saying, I see no difference between this type of clay and that type of clay. You are all from Adam. You're all descendants of Adam and Adam is from clay. Now there are many stories where Imam Ali alayhi salam shows his fairness, his justice. But as I said, due to a lack of time, I won't be able to mention them all. Walhamdulillah ladhi ja'alna. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, shukr. Um, if I don't get through, you know, it is what it is. I try my best. Um, you know, before I went on, I did the du'a. Rabbi Fa'albi, ma ant ahlo wa ta'ula taf'albi ma ant ahlo. Ya Allah, do with me whatever you want and know what I want. And indeed, Allah Azza wa Jal is the most knowledgeable. Muhammad Rada, well done. Well done. Look, you're 15 years of age. I didn't start speaking until the age of 19. And for you to come on stage in front of this many people and recite, I'm really proud of you. Um, and your oratory, I thought, was great. You look like someone who wanted to tackle the topic head on. So that's definitely a plus point. You bravely went into the Quran in a lecture at the age of 15. That's a wonderful combination. Uh, but you got to get that verse right. You know, you went in and it's a classic verse. But it's one which begins, Ya ayyuhal nas, rather than Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. It's God speaking to the whole of mankind. You said, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Instead of saying, Ya ayyuhal nas, Inna khalaqnaakum min dhakar wa untha wa ja'alnaakum shu'uban. You must get those ones right. And you will get them right. I have no doubt. So, all in all, I thought you took a, an important topic. I love how you rounded it off. It was wonderful. So, well done. Well done. Ahsan to Sayyidina, thank you so much. Yeah. I think it's got to, you know, it's got to us. Maybe we could we move to Sheikh Ali, yeah, we are. We who are. looks like he's about to be executed, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something to fall. <laughs> My one advice, although I'm one, not one of the uh, respected judges, but uh, I'll just throw in one or two things. I was blessed to give my first speech when I was 12 in front of about 50, 60 people. And I remember one of the best advice I've been given is one of the most effective ways to get the attention of the crowd is to mention a personal thing, story about you, something that you came across. I remember hearing something and people are like, what did you hear? So, right? So draw the crowd that way as well. And um, yes, I think the rest of it, you have a great potential. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. You, you mentioned Imam Ali, Imam Ali, Imam Ali, Imam Ali, Imam Ali. I never saw a change of a tone in a story that I would have loved to have seen. But you'll develop all of that, don't worry about it. Fantastic. Honestly, it must be such a privilege for me, but, but also for you to be in front of such amazing speakers and getting first-hand feedback. Um, that, that, that should be amazing. Um, in terms of the, his performance? <sighs> the way you were lecturing was for conference, not for majlis. So put in your mind, next time, uh, change your way of lecturing. That's number one. Number two, I invite you, come here. 
Come, listen. We have daily two, three lectures. Come here and listen. And, 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 uh, and, um, that is a fantastic point, actually. Said Mason, any yeah. last words? If I were to add my two cents, I would say um, don't worry about being too polished and the things around you. I noticed even at the end you were trying to help Mulali Fazl move around. You were just a little concerned. I think the point was to just concentrate on um, what you memorized and relax. Fantastic. That's it. Everything was good. Said Jalal. Uh, Muhammad Rida. Um, I liked the first part when you started your lecture with the uh, special, actually, uh, way as the many lectures you are starting. Uh, that was beautiful, but it was monotone, actually, your lecture. You Sorry. could go high and come down and grasp the attention of the audience. I wish you all the best for you. Thank you. That was a brilliant performance. Well done. Many thanks, many thanks. Thank you very much. How do you feel like it went? I think it was going well, but it was this one eye, oh, yeah. and I remember to reminding myself. I, remember, I was up there and I was thinking, remind yourself, remind yourself. My name is Madiel Hassan. I'm uh, born in Germany, and I really stayed there for six years. Then we went to America for six years, and now I've been in Leicester uh, in the UK for the past 10 years. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay, so what brings you here tonight in the cold West London? Um, today I'm here to recite uh, Noha for the live auditions. I'm gonna. I'm really passionate about Noha recitation, so I'm gonna go there with my full heart, and you know, show them that I'm. I can do this. Hadil Hassan, you ready to recite? Yes, inshallah. Are you confident? Kind of. You're slightly nervous. A lot. It's okay. Don't worry. Try your best, inshallah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Your name? My name is Mahdi Al Hassan Ilyas. Mahdi Al Hassan, how old are you? I'm 21. You're 21. Yeah. Where do you reside? Um, I reside in Leicester. Leicester? Yes. I love Leicester. Very close to my heart. And you're going to be reciting tonight? Anoha. Anoha. Yes. Okay. Uh, who do you look up to in the world of Noha recitals? Um, it's actually surprising, but when I first began or wanting to do Noha Khan, it was actually Masam Vast that inspired me. MashaAllah, said Masam Abbas, you got your marks already from him, I think. Huh? That's it. I think you win. He wins. <clears throat> okay, Mahdi Al Hassan, and who are you going to be reciting about tonight? Um, Shazadi Sakina. Salam Allah. Shazadi Sakina, Salam Allah. Okay, okay. Sakina alayhi salam. Okay, please go ahead. Before I got on the stage, I was very anxious, but after I got off the stage, I felt that I felt more relaxed and calmer. Abbi aati hai sakina ki sadaye logo hai zindano se Abbi aati hai sakina ki sadaye logo Hai zindano se Mere baba ko mila do Main duaye dungi Siskiya le Ke jo kehti thi muslimano se Ab bhi aati hai sakina Ki sadaye logo Hai zindano se To be a reciter of the Ahl al-Bayt, in my belief, it means to follow whatever your heart says. Whenever you feel that I want from Allah, you go for it and take the lead. Can, uh, I'm going to give you another opportunity. Just drink some water. All right. Tori si dry with you of us. Um, and also, Recite okay. another noah if you can. Oh, okay. You can do one lower if you want. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. When I was performing on stage, I knew where I made the mistakes, and I think the anxiety got to me. But I'm I'm not too bothered about it. I want to do for the halabeth, and that's what mattered for me. Maybe do matam. It'll be easy for yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Abhi aati hai sakina ki sadaye logo 
ہے زندانوں سے اب بھی آتی ہے سکینہ کی صدائیں لوگ ہے زندانوں سے میرے بابا کو ملا دو میں دعائیں دوں گی سسکیاں لے کے جو کہتی تھی مسلمانوں سے بولے سجاد سکینا یہ مقدر تیرا بولے سجاد سکینا یہ مقدر تیرا بے کفن تجھ کو لیے پھر کہو بازاروں میں اور لہو آج بھی جاری ہے تیرے کانوں سے A great second attempt from Brother Mehdi. I recited Abbi Aati Hai Sakina, Ki Sidaayin Logo. And um, the reason why I recited it was because it's about Shazadi Sakina. And whenever any like piece of recitation comes for, uh, in regards to her, I find more passion to um, recite it. That's why. The first thing I noticed though, at the end, when you're reciting a noha, don't, don't laugh, uh, you know, just understand the importance of what you just recited before that. Um, I think you have a lot of potential, uh, but I think you're a little nervous. I can, we can sense that. Mm -hmm. You're shy. You, the, I want to say maybe you can't hit the high notes, but I'm not sure. I think you can. I just don't think, I think you're a little afraid to go up there. A tip I would have for that is, before you start reciting the noha, scan the noha, see what's the highest note in this noha that I can uh, that I have to hit. Mm -hmm. And when you know that, then the first line, the astai, um, adjust that accordingly. You know, I had to have you change that one, lo one tone. Lo I also think that the noha wasn't the right choice. Um, full marks for the pronunciation. Um, I think uh, you could do a lot better than this. I think you have a lot of potential. Inshallah. Thank you. Inshallah. Hassan. Haj Nazar. Barakallah feek. Mahdi. Mahdiul Hassan Elias. Bravo, sir. What are you doing is very good. I mean, continue. This is the way of Jannah, inshallah. Uh, but to be honest with you, you know, you, um, you had a lot of um, cacophonous in your voice and tuneless and wavering in your... Maybe the environment affected on you. I don't know, yeah? I think the Shia voice competition is a um, very go a good opportunity for also other people to get through and to get, get more exposure to what it is um, about being a Shia and what it, there is to offer. So I think it's awesome. Mahdi uh, Hassan, the proper way actually. Good. Um, did you warm up your voice? No. Okay, a point for all of you, those who are participating here and those who haven't recited. When you want to come here, because you know, I don't say you are professional and you're not professional, you have to warm up your voice. Voice in the structure of the speech system is like a train which goes in different rails. Like what? If you don't wow. know this, okay, thank you very much. There are many points I have written here, but you are mentioning that we don't have enough time. Ah, so that is, inshallah, you will do your best. Thank you. Thank you I'm so much. proud to be on this panel. Us. I mean, oh, yes. you are so talented. This, this shows how well versed the judging panel is, beside from myself. Everyone is so well versed here. I feel a little bit uh, overwhelmed myself. Ah, Santo, Sayed, Mason, Dr. Sayed Amar. Yeah, amazing advice. And I, I'd have to echo uh, his advice when it comes to warming up the voice. Mm -hmm. uh, you like cold drinks? Kind of. <laughs> the thing is, if you're going to have a career in your line, mm -hmm. which involves the voice and all of our line of service, cold drinks, you're going to have to cut down on. Ask all of these guys over here. 
Well, he hardly drinks water. That's, that's his own miracle. <laughs> but, but cold drinks, you'd have to cut down. Like even for myself, you know, their voice is special. But when it comes to myself, especially when I know in the holy month of Ramadan, I've got like 23, 27 lectures, whatever. I try my hardest to go the whole month without having one cold drink. Secondly, crowd control. Get these guys moving. Get them to join you. I want to see you try your hardest to hold crowds. But I think there's a place for you in the future Inshallah. in a number of Husseiniyas and Imam Bargas around the world. Much. Inshallah. Do you really want it? Yes. Yes? A bit louder. Do you yes, really want I it? Do. Yes, Ahsan. Salla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. <laughs> guys, put your hands together in, uh, in thanking uh, Mahdi Al Hassan Ilyas. Thank you very much. See you reach for my Do you feel like it went? Not the best. Okay, so okay. Um, I feel like your low pitch was more stable. Yeah. High pitch is always difficult. You, like they said, you can warm it up easily. I got nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, many thanks, uh, and the dear viewers, many thanks to Mehdi Al Hassan um, on his recitation. Inshallah, there's a lot of encouragement from the judges. Uh, we'll find out if he has won towards the end uh, of the show. Now, please help me in welcoming uh, the next contestant on the Shia Voice. My name is Hussam Jawad Shafi. Um, I'm from. Uh, I live in uh, London, Wembley. Uh, originally from Iraq, Najaf. So I will be reciting uh, a Latmiya, inshallah today. Um, and yeah. I hear Zahra, and I know that you hear. Mullah Hussam, are you ready? Inshallah, I am. How are you feeling? A bit of nerv uh, stress and nerv nervousness. <laughs> Don't, be stressed. Stressed. <laughs> Don't be stressed. Don't be stressed. You're gonna be fine. Inshallah. You look the part, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. I joined uh, Shia Voice uh, for two reasons. One is um, I wanted to find out um, if I was given the compliments from my family that I have a decent voice, uh, or was it that actually, you know, from an uh, unbiased uh, program like Shia Voice that I actually did have the voice. Um, and the other reason is that I wanted to be able to send the message of the Ahlul Bayt. سؤال وينطرح جاوب يا دهري أبو فاضل بشر لو نهر يجري سؤال وينطرح جاوب يا دهري أبو فاضل بشر لو نهر يجري العطاش تصيح نريد الماء ويجي العباس عذب رواي عذب رواي عذب روى يلا وياي سؤال وينطير حجاو بيا دهري أبو فاضل بشر لو نهر يجري سؤال وينطير حجاو بيا دهري والله أبو فاضل بشر لو العطاشة تصيح نريد الماء ويجي العباس عذب رواي عذب رواي عذب رواي أطرح سؤالي واترك خيالي دور الجوار مثل العطاشة صبري تلاشة وإحساس ذا أطرح سؤالي واترك خيالي دور الجوار مثل العطاشة 
صبري تلاشى وحساسي ذا ليش الطفيل بوقت الظما تحكي لأمه وتقول لعباس اعتنو تذكر لإسمه هو بشر لو لا نهر وجرو فرسما وجرو فرسما عطاش بكار بلك الهاتريدا عطشهم يلتيه لو لزما ويدا على هذا الحال صفنت هواي ويجي العباس عذب رواي عذب رواي عذب رواي صلوات صلي على علي وعلي محمد Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, Hassan. Ahsant. My inspiration uh, from a young age was um, uh, sitting in front of my uh, grandmother uh, who used to read, uh, uh, re recite or read uh, dua or Quran. And she had beautiful voice and I always wanted to uh, follow her footsteps uh, in one day. And inshallah, um, this is allowing me uh, to do that. Uh, I wrote a few points, then actually I thought it's better not to talk about it because you corrected some of them. One of them, okay, I will tell you, one of them what was rhythm. Yeah, you started without rhythm. Uh, then, okay, I found, okay, alhamdulillah, you went uh, to the rhythm. The other, was, the other one was uh, body language. You started without body language, even your hand was like this. Exactly like what, you, what are you, yeah? Then you started moving your hand, was nice. But your recite, sorry, sorry I'm saying this, you know, I love you, wallahi, yani. we Thank are you. here. Look, the difference between this program and the other programs, other prog program, they say yes or no, that's it. They don't give any advice. Our program, we are with this expert, we are giving advice. So please, okay. please put in your mind and use it, wallahi. And again, I will tell you, come here daily and listen. Okay, so the only thing I want to say that you recited like a studio, not majlis. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I want to go to the studio and I have mic, beautiful mic, and everyone is, si everywhere is silent and I have my water, everything, yeah, I recite like that. يا عيني بالدمع جودي حبيبي وراح من ايدي حبيبي حسين حبيبي حسين Look how many I'm playing, yeah? Because it's a studio. But you are on member now. You have to recite like this. قسما بالله داح الارض خلاق السماوات وبما جاء به جبريل من وحي وايات the original voice not a studio Asad. that's my comment brilliant 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 uh, i'm gonna go to say mason next please what i like most about you was your humbleness and the way you you know, receive the advice. Um, like Mullah Nazar said, our collective years of experience is gonna help you. I'm glad that you're part of this competition. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing you in the next stage, inshallah. Oh, thank you. Encouraging, encouraging, very encouraging. Uh, Dr. Sir Ammar, please. Uh, Hussam loved it, really loved it. I, you know, uh, Hussam exudes humility. Uh, he's got a wonderful smile. I'm sure you'll all agree with me. He's got a great smile. Um, uh, he said, Mason mentioned you're humble, uh, but there's going to come a time where you have to uh, move from humility to complete control of a crowd. Mm. And that's the only thing that I'm going to be looking for, inshallah, in the future rounds, because I'm you're there. Mm -hmm. I want to see a Hussam who's going to emerge and say, hey, I've got this crowd. They're not the ones who are controlling me. I'm going to control my whole mm. crowd. And that type of magic is what I'm going to be looking for. But you showed us some magic just now. Well done. Ah, Sentum Sayyidna. Lastly, Sayyid Jalal. 
Hussam Jawad, who is your favorite reciter? I think you were copying Nazar, yes? So your I... movement, your movement is actually copyright of Mulla Nazar a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so, sure the, uh, the uh, so Mulla Nazar, Basim al Karbala in Qahtan Bidari was with my... Mashallah, So, um, you have very soft voice, beautiful voice, melodious voice. You know, in the terminology of voice, we have different qualities. One quality which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, usually for some people they give, it is the beauty of voice. We call it tanino sawt. You have that. But I want one thing from you. If you go to the next stage, try to work with your voice to recite from your chest. It's a little bit nasal, your voice. What I recommend you. Uh, because this tip is for all of us, dear viewers. Istinshaq. You know, with salt and warm water, do istinshaq, you know what I mean, inhale. And you have to clear the nasal passage, and that will give you a proper voice, the actual original voice. A little bit you have to work as well on your flexibility, yeah, in ataf al saut when you come sometimes lower pitch, so you should control it. I don't want to mention any more things, but it was beautiful. Mashallah, ahsantum. Thank you so much. Ahsantum, Sayyid Jalal. Brothers and sisters, please put your hands together for Hussam Jawad. How did you feel like it went? Alhamdulillah. Um, it, uh, it, uh, you always feel that you can uh, do better, but Alhamdulillah. The advice from the judges was, uh, was uh, taken on board. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. My name is Sayyid Muhammad Al Karbalai. I'm originally from Iraq, Karbala, and live in South London. I have um, to deliver a message to remind the Shia the message of Imam Hussein. There is a message being narrated from Imam Hussein Katagala, Bibi Sakinane, Rivayat Kia. Shia'ati Mahma Sharibtum Adbama in Fadkur. MashaAllah. And how are you going to impress the judges? How are you going to you know, show them your talent and that you deserve to go through to the next round? Wallahi brother, Sayyid Muhsin, I never think like this. All what I think, I'm here for Barakat. I'm here to tell Imam Sahib Zaman, you have a small servant, humble, here. That's all what I'm thinking about. So if I win, Alhamdulillah. If not, all is for me is the intention. I'm not after Riyah or showing off. Even my voice let me down, even anything. Just saying, Ya Hussein, with, with pure niyat, this is my intention. Very, very inspiring words, Said Muhammad. Best of luck for the competition. Thank you. Santum, Jazakumullah khair. Santum, Jazakumullah you're going to go on. How do you feel? I confident? Of course, Alhamdulillah, I'm confident. I'm going to represent Abu Fadl Abbas, inshallah. Inshallah. I'm, I'm taking my soul, my imagination in Bain al Haramain. Ya Allah, take your mind to Karbala. Sayyid Muhammad al Karbala'i, how old are you? 43 years. 43, mashallah. What made you decide to enter the Shia voice? What was the reason you entered? Uh, I never had the opportunity, to be honest. Uh, yeah, alhamdulillah. Amazing. And what would you recite this, this, for us? This is opportunity for you. This Don't is the opportunity. This is the opportunity for Inshallah. you. Don't say that. If Sahib al-Asr al-Zaman accept me, the, Inshallah. the Inshallah. smallest khadim, inshallah. What will you recite for us tonight? Arabic. And Urdu. So a combination of Arabic and Insha Urdu. Inshallah. And this is because this is Shia voice. This is Shia voice. So I want to deliver or remind the Shia. I don't think any Shia when they drink water, don't say, Assalamu alayhi Hussein. Allahumma salli alayhi Hussein wa ahli bayti wa al-anqati. MashaAllah. Go ahead. I would say I control my nerves and, and I was okay in the beginning uh, on the stage. But once I started, believe me, I lost even the rhythm, the tune I prepared to recite the Qasida or Noha. Shi'ati mahma sharibtum azba ma in fadkuruni Shi'ati mahma sharibtum 
عذب ماء فاذكروني أو سمعتم بشهيد أو ذبيح فاندبوني شيعتي مهما شربتم عذب ماء فاذكروني أو سمعتم بغريب أو شهيد فاندبوني إيش يو جب بينا باني بولنا جانا مجي ذكر غربة يا شهادة هترو لنا مجي شيعتي مهما شربتم عذب ماء فاذكروني أو سمعتم بغريب أو شهيد فاندبوني when I was small, I used to gather my um, brothers, recite for Nadim Sawar, recite for Hamza Zaghair, um, uh, Quran. I was, alhamdulillah, always used to be the first in Quran competition in the school, Saddam time. So, um, and being uh, speaking Arabic and Urdu, I would like to, to, uh, to bring both culture in Noha and Khidmat Ahlul Bayt أو سمعتم بغريب أو شهيد فاندبوني دوستو ميه نفاسا سيدي كون نتا دوستو ميه نفاسا سيدي كون نتا جرم داية أشقيان مجبر بجرم خطا ليتكم في يوم عاشورا جميعا تنظروني All together ليتكم في يوم عاشورا جميعا تنظروني كيف أستسقي لطفلي فأبوا يرحموني ليتكم في يوم عاشورا جميعا تنظروني كيف أستسقي لطفلي فأبوا أن يرحموني فأبوا أن يرحموني صلوات You know, <laughs> yeah. As I said, you know, we are here to learn. Wallahi, even I am learning in this program. Believe me, yani, our, our life is just to learn. So I will go straight, yeah? Sure. Um, you have problem on rhythm. R the, the rhythm wasn't uh, correct, you know? Some, some verses longer than, uh, um, um, than other verses. Body language was weak, okay? And you didn't know how to control the mic. The good reciter knows how to control the mic. You didn't, you, I mean, you, you were reciting for yourself. It looks like, put in your mind, there, there is mic and there's an audience. They are here. They want do, see as an they want do latom. Work on yourself. Wallahi, work on yourself. Please. I'm gonna go to say Maytham, please. It's a very sensitive position to be a judge on this show. May Bibi Zahra, Alayha. Forgive me, uh, but I have to be honest uh, because there are people out there judging us as well. Make sure we don't do any injustice to anyone else who may be more deserving. Um, you know, it's good that you came here because a lot of times, if you're reciting in uh, public, there's going to be judges there as well, but they'll never give you feedback. They'll yeah. decide something for themselves, they'll go back home, they have already have judged you. Um, for me, you know, I felt that your voice was trembling a little. Sure. Uh, the notes, the higher notes, you were afraid to hit them. Sure. Uh, the rhythm was a little off. Sure. Um, the pronunciation of Urdu was good. Um, 
I think uh, there are some things you still need to work on, inshallah. inshallah uh, we're all here for you, inshallah. Bilkul. And he's saying every day I learn something new. And for us, uh, for us. Yeah, I know, I know what he's saying. Yeah, He's saying I learned, daily I learned something new. Yeah. So I, I just wanted, on that point, I wanted to say that we don't consider ourselves experts e either. Like Mullah Nazar said, we still consider ourselves talib ilm. We're still learning daily. So Jalal, I'm only going to go to you because of the, the technicalities of the sound. I know that you have something to say around this. Okay, say it. Thank you very much for your actually uh, performance. First of all, you look younger, mashallah. You don't look like 43. So uh, of course you look after yourself and that is the blessing of Ahlul Bayt. Another thing, can I ask you to recite again just the first part? Because I know that you had a fear and now a little bit the fear just gone. Just one yeah. short part, please. Ali ka vird jo karti chali gayi Umre rava suku se guzarti chali gayi Jisne dare husayn pe sar ko jata diya Wo shakhsiyat jahan mein uberti chali gayi दीवाने वार लोग भी मरते चले गए तेरे अलीज दर से गुजरती चली गई मरहाब हवा में मरहाब हवा में उछला जो काकर अली की जर्ब हाथों से तेरे पैरों से दर्दी चली गई I think if I were to, sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm cutting you Maza off. Maza I'm so sorry. Maza Maza Maza. Maza. That's okay. Just don't try to go through it so fast. You know, take your time. Last, last couple of words, please. Yes. Uh, you, you all saw the change. I, I think from if I wanted to give him, for example, I don't want to mention the number, for example, it should be double now because it completely changed. Why? Because you know, I know that the stage takes. <laughs> so, uh, so the clarity of voice now the voice actually is clear. Drink plenty of water and warm up your voice. And another thing, yes, about tempo and timing, and engage a little bit with more with with uh, actually audience, and don't go too much to high pitch. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Doctor Said Ammar, your feedback, please. Uh, you're one of these people who I would say is uh, a jack of all trades, master of. Let's see which one. <laughs> So there's Arabic and there's the Urdu and then well, there's yeah, you know, I, I, I know him yep. and I've seen him. If you want dua recited, he'll recite dua. You want Quran recited, he'll recite Quran. You want poetry recited, he'll recite poetry. MashaAllah. This is, this is from his, you know, he is a very sincere individual and I've seen his servitude, but he has to come to the conclusion. What are you going to be a master of? Mm. You know, there's, there's some football players who have been amazing in terms of they could play right back, left back, center back, center mid, but you could never really remember their position by the end of their career. Yeah. And in this example, of course, cannot be related to the servitude of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's all amazing and it doesn't matter what people remember you for, but you, you yourself have to ask yourself a question now, and that is if you do get through to the next round, what are you going to be the master of? Is it Arabic or is it Urdu? Is it Noha or is it Qasida? Is it Dua? And that's what we're going to be looking for, inshallah. Please, can I get a loud uh, salawat ala Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad for Sayyid Muhammad al Musawi? Salawat. This one time was Ramadan in a hot day. The waiting for iftar was thirsty. So many thanks to uh, Sayyid Muhammad al Musawi. For a session that actually had the judges talking, uh, a lot of feedback. Um, so hopefully the viewers at home and the viewers uh, and the audience um, will take on board some of the tips um, that were given to Sayyid Muhammad Musawi. But now, inshallah, please help me welcome by putting your hands together the final contestant of this episode of the Shia Awards. My name is Issa Ali and I'm coming from Watford. 
Mashallah. And what are you doing here in cold West London tonight? What are you going to recite for us? I'm going to recite Hussein al Gharibal. Mashallah. And how are you going to win this competition? How are you going to impress the judges? Well, I've been practicing and I'm, I feel passionate. So I think I'm going to. I've been so sinful and so foolish With your love I Lisa, can you're going to go on stage, how do you feel? I feel a bit nervous, but I'm feeling a bit confident Okay, a bit of a mixture, I'm sure you're going to do amazing Thank you Nice and confident, okay? My favourite reciter is Amal Nashid Because um, I love it how he likes um, The tune is very like up, down, up, down I feel that's really nice <laughs> Salams on the head of my Mawla Hussain. Salams on the lips of my blessed Hussain. For days in the desert, your body remained with thousands of us. Grief and the mourning for you, Ya Hussein. A lady was seen peering out from the tents. A cry from the heavens that Zahara presents. Oshimmer, Oshimmer, one. The sword stained in blood was Hussein's final test. Hussein to your mother, it's time to ascend. Your trials in Karbala have come to an end. Hussein Mashallah, Mashallah. Salawat bar Muhammad wa Muhammad. Ahsantum, Ahsantum. How do you feel? I feel very proud of myself. Yeah? We're proud of you too, Mashallah. Oh. You're, do you're done with this now, so you don't need to hold it. Let's put that away, yeah? So you can now relax. We're good. Uh, I'd like to go to Sayyid Jalal as a first. Okay, Isa Ali, thank you very much for, I mean, your recitation at this age. Try to memorize the verses or anything you are reciting, yes? Because I'm sure that you have listened to this many times, yeah? Try to recite. When you recite from your memory, so you don't have any problem, just for example, anything to miss, uh, lead you towards the, for example, text. So you focus just in your recitation. Alhamdulillah, I really uh, uh, enjoyed, I really enjoyed your recitation at this age. I wish all the best for you. Try to uh, have a teacher, a mentor, like for example, Mesa Masih, talk to him and say, Mesa, I, will, I want to be your, your student. Yeah, carry on with him. Good? Inshallah. Ahsantu, mashallah. Ahsantu. Sayyid Mesa? Sayyid, I think uh, a lot of the monotony had to do with uh, the composition itself. So it didn't, it didn't allow for him to show, you know, his full potential. I want to ask, are you, are you, were you scared? Just want to ask. Yeah, because I, you know what, I remember when I was young, like you, or even younger, I was trying to hide my face from the crowd because I didn't want to face that. You have nothing to be nervous about. You're, you're fantastic, mashallah. I'm proud of you. 
Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, Dr. Sir Ammar. You've made us really proud. Uh, you, you recited with passion. And uh, keep going. Keep making your parents proud. And uh, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Inshallah. Haj Nazar. Yes, uh, Isa Ali. Um, as uh, Sayyid Jalal said, yeah, the, that it's better to memorize uh, the Qasida, but he gave you a, a reason that when you memorize, you will be more confident. I have another reason. Uh, the reason is that you are very cute and very small, and you have A4 size page in front of you. <laughs> this camera cannot take your picture, you know? <laughs> this camera cannot film you. So you are uh, covering your face with uh, yeah, is, with the, is this is, is very true. important. If Isa. you do need to hold the paper at least <laughs> yeah. a bit away so that we can see your lovely face. Yeah. Bravo, Fantastic. bravo, bravo. Isa. Lastly, I'm going to go to our special guest, Sheikh Mohammed Halli. I just want to say well done because uh, it's so, so difficult. Everyone said it. I know you are hiding. It's okay to hide. We've all hidden sometime in our lives, but it's absolutely fine, Isa. You're really, really on the right track. Yes, your voice is really good. The practice is really good. So I think you have a, a great future. And well done to his parents. And the parents of all the youngsters that participated today, they don't get the praise, but I'm sure they've worked really, really hard. Well, Allah bless them all. They are role models. And this is an encouragement for all our viewers, sisters and brothers, attendees. Get your kids practicing. And inshallah, we'll have a bright future. Ah, So who, who where, where is parents? Do you know where they are? Yeah? And the top over there? Yeah. yeah, do you want to wave and say hello, mommy? Hello, mommy. All right, fantastic. Brilliant. Can we get a last salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad, please? His night is more alone than ever. He's praying. Bon Isa, mashallah. How do you feel like it went? I think it went a bit, uh, it went really good. Okay. Um, just when I went to the high pitch, it went a bit croaky. Okay, that's not a problem. I'm sure you can mend that easily. Do you feel like you've done enough today to make it to the next round? Yeah, I think so. MashaAllah. We really enjoyed the way that you presented yourself and you've come today dressed amazingly. They all like that. And the recitation, amazing words. Great choice of poetry. Thank you. It's the end of the day and the judges once again have the difficult task of deciding which contestants go home and which five go on to compete at the semi-finals. There were many great participants with a broad set of skills which makes the judging process even more difficult. As the final list is compiled, the crew and the judges prepare for the announcement. Welcome back dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV and welcome to the Shia Voice. If you haven't been um, tuned in already, um, we are now at the finale of this episode and that is the judges have made their decision and we're about to find out who has gone through to the next round of the Shia Voice. But for now, we'd like to welcome back the contestants on the Shia Voice. Please come forward. Right, I hand it over to Dr. Sir Ammar, inshallah. Please tell me. All of you have made us immensely proud tonight, one by one, sincerely. And uh, you go back to your communities, to your schools, to your families, with your heads held up high. But as you know, as is the nature of competition, uh, there can only really be five who make it through to the next round. And those of you who don't make it through to the next round, you still have special talents. And there are many who have achieved success having been rejected at a certain point in their life and in their pursuit of happiness and their pursuit of servitude, they eventually got to a particular goal. And Izza is given not by the judges, but Izza is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never forget that, never forget that line. It's not the crowd who gives you honor and glory and nor is it the internet, nor is it YouTube, and nor is it a production company. But rather, God is the one whose glory you should always seek. 
sense. So we're going to call out names in no particular order. But when your name is called out, please come to the front. Abbas Hussein. M A S Mohsen Abbas Shah Hussam Jawab Can I ask a Sayyid from this group remaining who is forty three years old? Come forward. Come forward, please. What do you think, Sayyid? What do you think? Positive. You think you are going to the next round? No, you are going to the. Ne you are going to the second round. You think, or or home? Do you want to go to home or to second round? Second. second? Let's see what Doctor Sayyid Amar says. Okay. Finally, Muhammad Radal Khualdi. Congratulations to you five. You have made it through to the next round. <laughs> As for the five who did not make it, you owe six, or yep, the six, you outstanding. I love your spirit, Arfan, and I love how you overcame your mental health issues to come here. You are truly victorious, Ali Asghar. And as for you young ones, you're going to be very successful very soon, and then you'll come back and you'll tell us, I told you so. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so proud and I can't believe I've passed and actually gone on to the second round. I do think someone, other, other people may have deserved it more than me. Um, I, I think I did well, alhamdulillah, but there was definitely a lot of stuff that I could have improved on to make it, to make it better. Um, happy, uh, a bit surprised, but alhamdulillah, um, looking forward to the next opportunity. Uh, mixed feelings. Uh, I would feel emotional. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy uh, that I uh, passed the next round, but also I, I feel that uh, now it's it's uh, it's becoming more difficult, uh, um, um, and also it, uh, there's more responsibilities for all of us now um, to 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 be able to provide uh, the message of uh, Hilbert. Uh, I feel I'm blessed and honoured. Um, especially um, all the thanks for the uh, judges. Uh, we have, mashallah, three Sayyid, and we have um, Haj Nazar Qatari. Um, and I really uh, appreciate the second opportunity given to me by the Sayyid Jalal. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That um, draws this episode to a close. There were some surprises in there. I genuinely didn't know. Um, even though I was in the back of the room, I was just stuffing my face with the sweets and the candy and stuff like that because um, uh, the dinner is not really made available. But anyway, uh, that's on another note. Um, I, was, I didn't know. I actually didn't know who went No, through. no, I was clueless. So um, it was a pleasant surprise um, to see some of those faces uh, through to the next round, inshallah. Um, any final notes, Sayyid? Inshallah, let's keep the Shia spirit alive. Let's keep serving Ahlul Bayt alayhi wasalam. Let's keep serving Ahlul Bayt alayhi wasalam. That will draw this episode um, to a close. Many thanks for watching Imam Hussain TV and many thanks for watching the Shia voice.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh in Ramadan Kareem. The Imam Hussain Charity will be running its food basket campaign again this year, giving you the opportunity to help destitute and impoverished families throughout the whole of Iraq and Afghanistan. Each food basket contains essentials such as rice, flour, dried lemons, tea, fruits and vegetables, oil, tomato paste, dates and much much more. Each basket is 25 pounds and can feed a family of four for up to 10 days. You can feed a family of four for the whole of Ramadan for only 75 pounds. You can donate via bank transfer, PayPal, or visit us at www.imamsaincharity.com.